Hey guys, it's Chuck. Thanks for stopping by. As you know, my channel is uh, Outside Screwball. And uh, trying to talk a little louder here to make sure that the uh, volume comes out okay. And a little different uh, opening here today. Uh, just kind of looking at the tooling cabinet and bolt storage, uh, some pictures from my grandson. And uh, doing that because the rest of the shop is uh, quite in disarray. It's probably got, uh, I don't know, eight bench tops and I couldn't set down a uh, peanut if I had to. But anyway, uh, tonight's video is uh, going to be a little different. Going to, uh, you know, it's, it's the month of October and uh, Halloween's coming and uh, I've, uh, I, I've got a lot of new subscribers. I don't expect subscribers to go back and watch my 100 plus videos. But a year ago, I did a uh, trick or tool video uh, in honor of Halloween. And so uh, we're gonna uh, pull some clips out of that and show that to you and get you primed for the end of the month. That is coming. Been a little too serious lately in my videos. Uh, as you know, I'm a home hobbyist. Uh, enjoy machining, enjoy building things, and uh, but as you know, my name outside Screwball. I want to have fun and uh, just be a little, little out there. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna go back in time and, and look at some uh, Halloween videos or whatever you want to call them back there on my uh, trick or tool. And uh, there's a free offer tonight. And you stick around to the end, and uh, there's a free offer. The free offer will last the month of October only um, and uh, I'll stand behind it so uh, if you guys hang in and get to the end or if you want to just uh, blow by and get to the end for the free offer that's your choice also uh, tonight's video is also going to have some, kind of a mismatch of some other items in there uh, so I hope you enjoy the, uh, the complete video okay and uh, We'll see you here shortly again at the end of the month for a little Halloween fun. Well, here's a little uh, flea market action. Um, I looked at this little box full of goodies and asked the fellow what he wanted, and he wanted 10 bucks. And I said, uh, 10 bucks for a bunch of stuff I'm going to throw in a drawer. And Hopefully I'll use someday. A uh, bunch of uh, half inch dowel pins that are in there. Uh, and then there's smaller dowel pins also. Um, just, just a combination of what you'd really want to call, I guess, junk in a sense that's in there. And I'm a sucker for these things. Um, there's, there's a piece of, uh, piece of carbide that was... Uh, sharpened into a like a countersink um, there's some nylon pieces um, another another piece just just a bunch of stuff so I said hmm yeah ten bucks ten bucks to throw it in a drawer and hope you might need one of these one of these days so I, I just set it off to the side well then I came across these two guys in his pile and they're both uh, can't twist clamps. Uh, this one is a uh, two inch. You can see it's uh, it's not in bad repair. It's got some rust on it and some some goo. Um, and then the other one is a uh, I think it's a three inch. If I can read it through the rust there. But uh, again, it's uh, in good shape. Uh, just just been used. So uh, I said, how much do you want for these? And he said, uh, five bucks for the two of them. And I said, okay, that's a spanking deal. I'm good on that. And then the final thing that, whoop. The final thing that was in the, uh, that I just dropped was this guy. And uh, besides being a sucker for trays of knickknacks and goodies, I'm really a sucker for metal boxes. And, and I opened this one up. It's got, and uh, it's, uh, it's a uh, it's a snap-on. Uh, it used to hold a uh, tubing cutter, and uh, so I asked him uh, 
how much for this and I think he wanted uh, five bucks also seemed like everything he said was five bucks except for the box of goodies so uh, I said okay uh, I'll give you 12 bucks for everything and uh, he said fine so happy with that um, this stuff will just go into stock if I ever need it pick through it and separate it uh, all of these three things these three items they'll all get cleaned up uh, the snap-on box will visit the uh, glass beater and get a coat of paint and these guys will uh, probably go see uh, the uh, uh, CLR solution in the uh, wire wheel. So I'll show you what they look like after everything gets cleaned up. But the uh, the best buy of the whole thing was uh, he's a retired machinist, um, and uh, he says, "Well, Sunday I'm going to bring my box," and I, and uh, I got all sorts of stuff in there. So I said, "Oh, where do you live?" And he told me we live within uh, three miles of each other. So uh, I got a lead and going to go visit his storage facility. Uh, and hopefully buy stuff there before he takes it to the flea market and I have to fight off the other seagulls that are uh, looking for deals anyway uh, We'll see you see what these guys look like uh, After they get cleaned up Well, here's just a quick cleanup on this guy a little visit to the uh, wire wheel and Cleaned up and serviceable ready to go back to work so on to uh, cleaning the next guy. So I kind of knew this when I was buying this box that I actually have the the exact snap-on tool, the uh, TF5 double flaring tool. Of course, it's in a plastic case, and I bought this oh, 25 years ago or something. I don't know when. Long time ago. Always pissed me off that it's in a plastic case. Yeah, it's got the little holders for the for the adapters and stuff. But this is the actual same box, TSF-5. The only difference is it came with the tubing cutter. And I'm pretty sure I got the, uh, the tubing cutter for it. So anyway, pretty cool. Um, so going to end up getting rid of the plastic box and uh, go ahead and put everything in the, uh, the metal box. Well, I thought I'd show you another tool I picked up off of uh, Craigslist. Um, his old, uh, our buddy Tom Lipton would call it a woodchuck item. It's a Bessie uh, miter clamp, and it's pretty cool. You can see I got a piece of, a uh, couple pieces of wood in here, and uh, it sets it up that you could miter clamp it and glue it, and it gives you access for screws or nails to uh, attach. But the other cool thing about this is that it, um, you can also, if I turn this around, It'll also clamp, in that scenario, there. So again, I could go ahead and uh, glue and fasten and still be able to get nails or screws in there. Or you could do a you know, basic uh, short butt clamp also. Um, and it'll do it in different diameters, or diameters, different size material also. Let's see if it'll make a liar out of me here. No, so I think I'm still in there. So there's two different thicknesses. I've got a 90 degree corner and get my fasteners in. So a nice little item. Uh, I'd never seen these before. Saw them on Craigslist and uh, picked them up. Uh, wasn't an eight ball deal, but uh, I'm happy with my purchase on it. Uh, as I said, I got four of them and uh, I think these are going to come in handy uh, when I'm doing my woodworking. I've got another item I'll show you real quick, uh, a little more woodchuck this items. This is a picture framing jig that I built some time ago. Um, I had to help my buddy Chewy uh, do, uh, hit the camera there, sorry about that. I had to help my buddy Chewy do uh, some picture frames for his uh, daughter who's an artist. And uh, I built this jig. Um, I saw it online, copied it basically. Um, but it, uh, it basically, let's see, it's been a while since I've used it. These legs go around here, this leg goes around here. Come on, come on, there you go. So I think you can see it there. So this piece is adjustable here. All of the uh, different corners are adjustable so you can build it to a variety of sizes of frames. 
and uh, got the parchment paper on there for the glue so it doesn't stick. And uh, we built, uh, I don't know, six or eight frames uh, with this and it worked really well. So just another uh, woodchuck item that uh, I built and uh, it's come in handy. All right, um, let's uh, see what the cleaning process is doing. Okay, wow, did this second one clean up good, huh? What a beauty. Little little polishing on that guy and I got it looking great. And if you guys believe that, I'll sell you a bridge. I just had to pull out a brand new one. There's a brand new guy there. Still got to clean this up. We'll do a comparison afterwards. Sorry about that, guys. Just see, pull your leg a little bit. Well, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I think you can. I uh, put it in the pan with some CLR, and there's something uh, that the CLR is attacking immediately and creating that uh, white foam there. And you can see the, uh, the bubbles coming up out of there. So, uh, it, it's eating something in there. I guess we'll I hope it's a good eat. We'll be back. Well, here's the cleanup on the uh, three inch uh, can twist. Hopefully the uh, camera's in focus there. But uh, cleaned up real well. 15 minutes in the uh, CLR and then a little bit on the, a uh, little bit of handwork, a little wire wheel. You can actually read that it's a three inch can twist. So happy with, uh, happy with that puppy that I bought. Well guys, um, one of my videos, I showed you this tailstock turret that I had picked up. Um, you haven't seen me do any work with it yet. Um, but uh, one of the fellas uh, that views uh, my channel, views a lot of the channels, uh, Ryan, his handle is uh, Illinois Gopher, or IL Gopher. Uh, he contacted me and uh, said that uh, he had some tooling that he purchased and I uh, would hate to see it go to stock. And if I had one inch bores on this uh, tailstock unit, he'd be happy to send it to me. And uh, I gotta tell you, it was uh, very nice of him. And the package arrived today. Haven't opened it up. Uh, I just wanna say very big thank you to Ryan. Uh, I don't care if this thing's uh, full of rocks. Uh, it's really nice of you to send something to me. And uh, We'll uh, open it up off camera and uh, maybe give everybody a view. But I uh, just want to show it to you guys. Really appreciate it, Ryan. Thank you. Okay, guys. Well, I guess I should open this up on the on camera. Probably thinking, what a dick. He's not going to open it up on camera. So anyway, let's uh, let's get this let's get this thing opened on camera. Blue. Oh, there it is. Holy shit. Sweet! What the hell is this, Ryan? I thought you were just sending me some tooling. Yikes. That's crazy. That's some crazy crap. Because I'm a crazy guy, and I see if I pull your guy's leg again. All right. No money in there, but Ryan, I knew you had it in your heart. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Let's see. We got an envelope in here. And there's something long in there. We're gonna we're gonna wait on that. I think maybe that's the proper way to do it. Got some paper. Oh, got some more paper. And we got some items falling out of paper. Ooh, sweet. Oh, thank you very much, Ryan. Nice. He was mentioning I'd have to grind some flats on these. 
but uh, well, a couple of them have flats on it, and the other ones have the uh, hmm. This oh, you got a kick out there, so you can put a part in there. Taper shank. Another taper shank looks like a two there, and maybe that's a maybe that's a two, and that's a one. Oh, sweet. Oh, and a die holder. Nice. Ryan, thank you very much. Wow, I'm kind of speechless here. Maybe the money's in here, the real money, huh? A little note from Ryan, and it looks like his calendar. Here are some tools I emailed, I told you about. Hopefully you can get some use out of them. Photography is my hobby. I hope you enjoy the calendar. Some photos I've taken while machining and playing around on my mill and lathe. Hopefully as I do, I'll get more and even better. Maybe I'll even do some videos. Ryan, you gotta gotta get some videos going. What the hell? If I can do a video, you can do a video. Ah, uh, cool calendar. Hey Colin, if you're watching, yeah, you got girls in bikinis, but man, I got machining video. I got machining photos. Nice. Look at that one. Beautiful. Too cool. Brian, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's all I can say. Way cool. Thank you very much for the calendar. Thank you for the tooling. Too cool. And thank you for all of your positive and friendship comments on my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Catch you soon. Thanks. I'm back. Uh, <coughs> got a little issue going on here in the shop. Um, uh, I'm going to turn the camera and show you, but I've got a computer in my shop. And uh, I watch uh, YouTube videos out here along with other things, looking up information. And I went to Adam's uh, YouTube channel to uh, watch a video. And uh, something spooky happened here. Um, his channel's uh, A-Bomb79. Uh, great stuff. But uh, I still don't know under, understand what happened. Uh, let me show you. And hopefully the camera doesn't turn sideways on me like it did before. So, there he is, he's on my computer screen, staring me down, and the odd thing is, it doesn't matter how many times I click my mouse, here's my mouse right down there, I'm clicking my mouse, I can't get rid of him, he won't go away, I hit the keyboard, look at that, he won't go away. I hit the power button back and forth down here and the damn monitor won't even shut off. Holy crap. I'm, uh, he's going to be staring at me forever now. Well, if anybody's got to be looking over my shoulder, I guess that's the guy I want. Damn guy, how the hell did he do that? Well, alright Adam, well, thank you for watching me. Um, I'll do my best in front of you all the time. Catch you later, guys. Wow, this is really odd. Huh? Look, damn, he's even there. I even shut off all the power to the shop and he's still there. What the hell did he? It's a spooky. Ooh. Hey, guys. It's uh, Chuck, I'm back. Um, hey. So I ordered my, uh, this kind of exciting day, I ordered my book from uh, Ox Tool, Tom Lipton. Uh There's the cover of it, Metalworking, Sink or Swim. Uh, pretty excited. I uh, ordered that the other day, and today I got the, the box came. Wow. Pretty good. I'm pretty excited. Pretty big box for a book, though. Huh. Well, let's see what we got in here.
I asked him to autograph it for me too. Um, so I may have a, a limited edition here that's uh, been autographed, which would be really kind of exciting. Uh, let's see what I got here. Uh, well, there's a, there's a letter in here. Um, push this off to the side here. It says, Chuck, uh, thanks for ordering my book, Metalworking Sink or Swim. Um, don't, what? Uh, don't know that I can really help you and was really afraid you might sink and didn't know how good you could swim. So uh, I did not send you the book, but I did send you these other aids. Uh, hope all's well, Tom. Uh, let me see what the, the heck I got here. Uh, oh, she Water wings? And a life jacket? And a flotation device. Um, so I guess uh, he's preventing me from sinking because I can't swim. Thanks, Tom. Uh, I'll try to do better in my metalworking. Yikes. Hey, guys. Well, you're probably wondering why I'm dressed up like this. I've got a good friend up in Oregon, Donald Cossett. He's got a great channel. And uh, we've been talking about all sorts of things. We're, we're kind of newbies at machining. We, we try our best, watch all the channels. And we were talking about the other day, and I told him I had a four inch piece of aluminum billet that I needed to uh, part off in my lathe. And so he said, hey, I'm going to send you the tool that'll work the best. And he sent me this whole garb here. And uh, let me go get the tool. And I got the four inch billet set up in the lathe, and uh, we'll give it hell, see what happens. All right, be right back. Donald, you sure this thing's gonna cut aluminum? I don't know, buddy. Yeah, you lumberjacks or something else. All right, I don't know that I'm gonna try this. Catch you soon, Donald. Hey guys, it's kind of exciting here. I got a uh, a book, and uh, I want to tell you, I I, I commented on uh, Double Boost channel. Said John, he's from England. I made a comment that, you know, I, I love the work you do. Man, he's just something else. The, the things that he produces, the machining, the instruction. But damn, I can't understand him. So John sent me a book. And it, it was nice of him to send me a book, English for Americans, by John Bastard Double Boost. Well, it was really nice of him. And let, let's take a little read in here. Um, one of the... One of the, oh, it's got some nice pictures in it and stuff. That's, that's pretty cool. And uh, one of the things uh, we, he sent me here in, in the very forward, it says uh, bollocks. Uh, bollocks is a word from the Anglo-Saxon origin, meaning testicles. The word often is used as a noun to mean nonsense, an explic explicative following a minor accident or misfortune, and the adjective to mean poor quality or useless. Similarly, the com common phrases, bollocks to this, or that's a load of bollocks, generally indicates contempt for a certain task, subject, or opinion. Conversely, the word also figures in phrases such as the dog's bollocks, top's bollocks, or simply the bollocks, as opposed to just bollocks. The, the, quotations, is very important which will refer to something which is admired, approved, or well expected. Uh, knocked up is another good one. It means wake up in the morning or to practice tennis, a quick knock up before the game starts. Yeah, usually my knock up finishes before the game starts. Whoops! Uh, oh well. So anyway, John sent me a book here. 
English for Americans so we can start to understand them. Uh, there's some other words in here. Uh, manual means a stick, stick for a uh, car. Uh, what's another one in there? A chemist is a drugstore guy. A fag is a cigarette. A rubber, that's an eraser. A johnny, that's a condom. Uh, knots and crosses, that's tic-tac-toe. Over the moon, delighted. A uh, bong or a bang, that's sex. Bees knees, that's fabulous or fantastic. Dogs bollocks, really fabulous or fantastic, really fantastic. Oh, a dog's dinner, make a mess. Blow me, well, that's an expression, knock me down with a feather. We won't go there. Blow off, well, he does that quite a bit. That's a fart. Uh, and a cock up, well, I know that well. That's a mistake. Um, so we got a whole book here of English for Americans, and I'm going to study hard, and damn it, I'm going to be able to listen to John and follow him. What the hell is this Kilroy crap all over my stuff too for also? All right, be back to you soon. Hey guys, hey, well, got a little issue here, it's a little call out to my good buddy in New Jersey, Michael Reggie, he's got a great channel, he does some really cool work, I really enjoy him. Well, the other day he, uh, he mentioned at the end of his video that no aprons were harmed in the making of that video. Well, you know my, uh, my take on aprons, it's, uh, it's a passion with me, I've done my video on it. And, uh, well, Michael, you're a Jersey boy, but you don't know that I'm a descendant of uh, Scarface Joe Bomarito out of the back east. And we got family back there. So, I got a hold of my Cochino, uh, Knuckles. He's in Jersey. And I sent him by your shop. And uh, he, he, uh, he scouted it out and uh, he sent me a package here. And um, I got a report. It says, Cochino. Cucino Charlie. Uh, I'm going to talk like an Italian because he's an Italian. Cucino Charlie. He says, the other day I stopped by the Michael and I got a bad news. Uh, he went in to take a bigger dump and I, when he went in to take a bigger dump, I snuck into his shop. And you know how we all feel about aprons. So I grab this apron and I'm going to send it to you. You tell me what you want to do. This is, this is your Cucino. Knuckles. I'll talk to you too soon. Say hi to your mama. Well, Michael, he sent me an apron that he took to his shop. And I got to tell you, you know, I don't know whether I need to send Knuckles over to see you or not, but I got to tell you, buddy, you really abused the hell out of this apron. Burn holes through it, grease on it. Man, it still stinks. Holy God damn it. Toward it, everything. Michael, you better start respecting your aprons or I'm going to have to send Knuckles over to talk to you. And when he talks, you're going to listen. All right, Michael, I'll talk to you soon. Take care of your aprons. Put one on and go get to work. Hey, guys. How's it going? Hope everything's all well. Well... As you all know, one of the top guys out there in YouTube land is uh, Keith Fenner. Uh, the guy's amazing, the amount of work he does. I have super respect for him. It's very helpful. And, uh, you know, he sells items. So I talked to him the other day, and I got the new release of his newest hat. Uh, let me go get it and show it to you. Um, I know it's going to help me be a better machinist. And... Uh, and uh, I'm really excited about it. Let me go get it for you and I'll show it to you right now. Okay, sorry about that. Got hung up out there. Okay, I got the new, the new Keith Fenner hat. Comes uh, 
with all accessories and uh, I know I'm going to be a good machinist and uh, make them proud. Get her done you guys. Alright, talk to you later. Hi guys. Um, well, you just be careful with this uh, James Kilroy. You go to his site and uh, all of a sudden these Kilroy signs start appearing everywhere in your shop. They've, they've, they've been pulling up everywhere. They're kind of driving me nuts. It's a great guy. Does some good stuff. Some good machining. I uh, really enjoy his channel. Visit him. Well, I want to talk about uh, my teacher. And that's, uh, and he's probably your guy's teacher too. Uh, it's uh, Mr. Pete, also known as Tubla King. Uh, really enjoy his channel. Um, he's uh, something else. And uh, he's, uh, I've been corresponding with him. I've sent him photos of things that I've done. And uh, he's called back and talked to me and told me what I've done wrong or right. And he even sent me a report card. And I'm not going to show it to you guys. Uh, report card wasn't uh, something I want to share too much. I was hoping for better grades. My attendance was well, but patience was bad. Clear thinking was bad. Um, most of it was bad. That I, I'll keep trying and see if I can get better grades from him. Um, certainly enjoy him. Well, one of the things, though, uh, maybe is... Uh, is a little treat to me. Uh, he doesn't hand out hats very often, but he does have a line of hats. Um, he's had them for years, all his years of education and teaching, and uh, he opted to share one with me. And uh, I'll show you the hat he got me. Uh, I think you guys may enjoy it. Well, there's my hat <laughs> from Mr. Peep. And uh, as you can see, it fits well, and it, it uh, probably suits me well. Uh, okay, guys, uh, have a happy Halloween. I'm going to go put on my uh, Keith Fenner beard and go scare some kids out there on the street. All right, have a good Halloween. Be safe. Have fun with the family. Catch you guys soon. And I will start doing some machining, I hope. Okay, thanks. Okay, well, it's time for the uh, free offer. It's free, it's free, it's free. <laughs> but first, I thought I'd just show you this real quick. Uh, these are some uh, hangers that work really good. They're just strap hangers. I got them on the back of a door. The cool thing about it is you can, you can see how quick you can undo something, but to put it back on there, you just reach through, put it back on. Got the power cords, air hoses, a little rack there for air hoses. But anyway, thought I'd show you that, guys. So, my free offer. Um, as you know, I have music uh, typically on the beginning of my videos and sometimes at the end. And uh, there's a few guys, some guys out there that really like it. And, of course, there's some, some boys, some guys out there that uh, dislike it. Well, my free offer is limited for this month only. Uh, that if you want a copy of a CD that has 18 songs on it uh, from my buddy's band, West Bay Rhythm, uh, I'll send it to you. A little bit of a catch. As I said, it's free. But if, uh, if you really want it, you need to send me a, uh, a mailer, self-addressed mailer, with the postage on it. And uh, I'll burn the CD and throw it in there and send it off to you. Um, so that's my uh, trick or treat. You guys get a treat if you're interested. If not, uh, I hope you really enjoyed the uh, video. Um, I will put uh, the mailing address here at the end of the uh, video for you guys. Um, and uh, that, that closes it out. Have a good one.